I think this is the spot that I made my made my video healing video in. Yeah, look at this healing video. There's some grass and stuff in there while I was showing you examples. You look in here. There ain't hardly nothing. That nitrogen just it, it it it'll burn out all that little small stuff. It'll burn it out. If the plant ain't nice and big and mature, it ain't it ain't gonna survive. Now the corn is to the point that it really does not matter because the corn's gonna choke out anything that tries to come up and it's gonna shade the ground out. So it should be shouldn't have no more problems problems out of any of that's that old stand looks kind of skimpy, but as it gets on up there though, she she feels in the head bushes out into the fill in the gaps. So that's the kind of spacing I like to have right there. That was just a skip or a pea. So I had peas in this, and the deer either eat the peas up. A bunch of deer tracks in here. Deer eat the peas up as soon as it gets started. A lot of the skip, I think it was skip was actually peas where the deer didn't already eat them. Right, that's the spacing I like right, right there. That's about 12, 8 and 12 inches. About 12 inches of spacing. That's spacing I like that. About right here. That's about 10 inches. So I'm going to eat that now. That's about, about 10, 12 inch spacing. That's why I like That's That's very why I like it. See, you only need corn to corn. But I don't stress the grass and weeds. Ain't been a hoe put on none of this stuff. None of it. It's a, it's a little sprig here and there. I could get the tractor over this one more time if I wanted to. But I think I'm gonna let it go right there. I mean, this is about one week from the time I healed it and, and put nitrogen to it. I ain't uploaded a video. I'm gonna add this piece at the end of the video. But um how clean it is. I said don't 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 stress that don't stress the grass and weeds for so much. I said that nice with them healers don't cover up that nitrogen uh that nitrogen will burn it out. And then after that, it ain't gonna matter as far as the, the health of this other plant. But uh, anyhow, let's say it look it looks a little skimpy when it's small, but once it gets big and fills on in, that's a lot of corn. That's a whole whole lot of corn, especially for a hand picking job. That's a lot of corn, a lot of sweat. But anyhow, thanks for watching. I'm gonna add this to the end of the healing video. Ain't hardly no grass and weeds in here. But I'll burn it all out of there. That's pretty. I'll reheal this one day this week here. I'm gonna come down here and throw another little dose of this nitrogen on it and uh reheal it one more time, probably kind of fast and second gear, really get some dirt through to it. Probably brush it one more time with some nitrogen and we're gonna let this right here fly. A few little beans left in there coming up real nicely. Hope they wrap up around them corn stalks. Go them stalks. Leave them for the deer. I'm gonna bush all these down where the deer ain't eight. I'm gonna pick them and take them to the house. Cause uh, what's the corn? When I get the corn off of there, I'm gonna uh, bush all it down and go straight back with some black eyed peas, hopefully. So this is a good example of uh, that nitrogen burns out that grass. So I was either setting it, I was either setting it down or you were picking it up at the end here and it didn't get no, uh, the nitrogen was on, on, on or off. It wasn't on yet. Hold on, I already turned it off before I got to the end of the row. I don't know how this stalk turned yellow. And then you started getting the nitrogen down to it to, to there. That's a good example of all of it would look about like that if you didn't put that nitrogen in there to burn that to burn that uh grass out so like you see right here i didn't have enough space between the light pole to go all the way out with it i'm way behind on video uploading but uh so how clean that is after that nitrogen hits it and burns it so i was giving you an example of and nitrogen will burn out all that little, that little, them little small weeds and grass and stuff. So I clean that is. I'll be hit it with that nitrogen and heal it up. That corn's plenty big enough. It'll, it'll keep it all choked out. That's a uh, pea I got coming up there. So I clean, clean that is. The only thing, the only thing that stayed here 
It's the peas. That nitrogen burned out all that little small stuff. That little foreign stuff you see there, that's a that's a pea that done made it. That's another pea that's done made it. I had a few peas mixed in here. Deer got most of them before we got started. But see, it's that no hoe involved, planted it, cultivated it with the king scratches, and then come back and hit it with the uh, healers. Hit the healers with some uh, some 34%. And put the king scratches on the real gear, nice flat barking roof. Anyhow, I'm gonna add that in. That's a huge, I mean, that's a big, healthy stalk. Three D, that's a healthy stalk. That's what a, see, that's how I like it, like that. And then they run up the corn. That's a big, healthy stalk, and that's a double. Nice, healthy stalk there. But, I, it, 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 burnt, it burnt out pretty much everything else but the corn. So I said, don't stress the, don't stress the grass and weeds so much.